Hi, it's Therese and I'm here for Alter New and today I'm going to be sharing an easy ombre background technique. But before I do that, I've also got to share this. It's a builder flower. It's a Peruvian lily and it is amazing. And there are so many different layers in this flower and I think that's why it looks so realistic. The whole layering guide is on the back and this is actually, you know, some flowers are a little bit harder to layer up than others. I found this one really quite easy. I am using my Misty though to layer up the stamp and what I was just doing there is on the solid piece I was actually prepping it, conditioning it with a white eraser and that just helps get a nice even coverage with the ink if it's a new stamp. I've chosen some of the really pretty tea color, tea party colors to start with today and that's what I love about these stamp layering sets is you can mix and match the colors to whatever you want for your project. I have the the pink pearl color and for my second layer rather than actually bring another color in what I decided to do was add a second layer of the pink pearl and this is a really good way to get a more sort of subtle looking color to your layer and it's also a great way to stretch your ink colors a little bit more too and just be aware that the colors will dry a little bit lighter than they stamp so sometimes you might even need a second second stamp if you are using the same color again the coral bliss i decided just had to be used <laughs> for the for that you know adding that sort of pretty pink kind of color to the peachy tones and then this centerpiece. Now on the lilies, um, they often have that sort of a yellow look. So I thought I'd start with the buttercream here. And I found, you know, like these were actually quite easy to layer up even when I was stamping them without the misty. The reason I'm stamping them with the misty at the moment is because I'm actually doing a few different flowers. I'm actually doing um, stamping out a few flowers at the same time because if I'm going to go to all the trouble of lining up these stamps on the misty I might as well stamp out a few and then I've got some ready to go for another project. I also used the sun kissed color for the next sort of orange color and then I came in with the caramel toffee. Now it I did actually come in and do the tiny center bit with the caramel toffee as well. I just didn't think it had enough depth. So um, after I've done this, this is the spotty bit. I think this is the bit that makes the flower actually. <laughs> totally makes it. Um, I have come in with the paper bag here just to add a little bit more depth to the center. And the stamen is, is done with the, just with the, permanent black ink. Now I did stamp out some of the leaves. They're very easy to do and they are just a triple layer. I used the frayed green and the forest glades. And then I just used the coordinating dies that come with the builder flower sets. That's something that you get with all the builder flower sets. You always get the coordinating dies. Some have more than others but it's just such a great I don't know I'm really I don't know what I did before the day of dies with every set <laughs> I love them <laughs> and I'll just run my the rest of my leaves and flowers through the die cutter machine how beautiful is that lily it's gorgeous so now it's time to get on to my ombre style background I'm using the print blocks set this has the perfect size to do a, like a little um a highlight on the front of your card so that's what I'm doing here I'm actually using my card base in the misty I'm watching myself making this now I there's a couple of things I could have done I could have either taped the card front down inside itself with some removable <laughs> adhesive or even opened up the card front because it is sort of keeping on popping out as I'm trying to stamp it but it's not a problem it's still stamped perfectly so I've chosen three grey colour inks, starting with the lightest on top. And this is one of the uh, 
a great technique and it's really easy with the Misty is you can actually I don't have to blend my inks on the actual stamp before I stamp it out I can actually stamp one portion and if I wanted to I could clean the stamp in between I haven't bothered here because they're such similar colors and then add the next layer and then add the darkest layer at the bottom so I'm not actually having to try and mix the stamp inks on the stamp itself because I'm using the Misty I can just keep re-stamping it as many times as I want so you'll notice that the center of the stamp didn't stamp out particularly well but that's okay because I'm just going to come back in with my lightest color which is the morning frost and just go over that a couple of times and that sort of just evens it out so my sentiment I'm using my misty again and I want it to run up the side of this design and it's a simple one from the thinking of you stamp set this stamp set gets such a workout it's a really great it's a small it's a four by six set has heaps of sentiments in it in such different different style fonts and really nice sayings I use it all the time now I've got my card opened out now because you know that was easier I wish I had a thought of that before but anyway it's open and I'm actually stamping some leaf images I think it's the um, the last image the one with the um, it's like the most shadowy image normally and I'm stamping that with some frayed leaf directly on the card from and then what I decided to do is just add a couple of the leaves that I'd stamped and die cut using my tape runner on the back of those just to hold them in place And the good thing about this tape runner is it doesn't adhere permanently straight away so if I want to move the leaf around or change its angle it's easy enough to do without tearing my paper I've added some foam squares to the back of my flower just to pop it up off the card front but other than that it's um, there's not much dimension to this card at all and then all I have to do is flip the card over and cut off the excess leaf I'll list all of the supplies that I've used today you can find them at the blog in the link below I look forward to seeing you there till next time happy paper crafting bye